Hey guys, it's Chris. From eagles that can carry goats to spiders that strike from below, join me as I show you 10 predators that can hunt in terrifying ways. Number 10, crocodiles and alligators. When it comes to the hunting patterns of animals, their techniques often depend on their body styles. For crocodiles and alligators, they often have long bodies and short limbs, as well as a very heavy weight. So on land, they honestly don't move that fast over a long distance. However, they have adapted themselves into being able to lunge out at foes and strike at them with quick bursts of speed. Therefore, crocodiles and alligators are known as first strike predators, also called ambush predators because they strike first, strike hard, and show no mercy. In Africa, especially what they like to do is hide themselves in the water, whether it be a lake, river, or some other source, and then slowly wade through it while something like a zebra, water buffalo, or other creature is calmly drinking from the source. Course. Then, before they can look up, the predator will strike and oftentimes snatch on as hard as possible and pull them into the water so they can't escape. Now, if they do escape, the crocodile or alligator will just have to let them go as they know that they can't catch them, which is why they try and make sure that their first strike is deadly. This is also why many people keep an eye out for crocodiles and alligators when they're passing through areas that they know they inhabit because you just never know when one might surprise you. Number nine, golden eagle. Eagles. Eagles are one of the top birds in the animal kingdom and are even the symbol of many countries. In the case of the golden eagle, it's actually one of the most recognized and popular versions of the eagle in all of the northern hemisphere, as well as being a bird that's the most widely distributed species of eagle on the planet. As for its hunting skills, the ancient tribes of the world used the golden eagle for falconry because it was so swift and skilled. One of its techniques for killing rather large prey, though, is a bit haunting. If the eagle is hunting near a mountain range, it'll descend with great speed on its prey, latch onto it, and then literally throw the prey off the mountain, causing them to die from a hard fall. And to be clear, one such occasion caught on film had the golden eagle latching onto a rather large goat and then flinging it off a mountain. At most, they can actually lift and throw a 260 pound creature should they need to. And that is pretty impressive. Number eight, house cats. Just so there's absolutely no confusion here, I am referring to the species of house cats that are able to be raised in a home, and not the big cats that are in zoos or in the jungle. In the case of house cats, while it is true that they do hunt things like rats and certain other small animals, what's lost on people sometimes is that these cats aren't just hunting them because they're hungry. Cats have an inherent desire and joy of hunting and killing for sport. What they'll do is they'll go and chase the animal, whether it be a mouse, rat, bird, insect, or something else. And when they've caught it, they'll use a variety of techniques that are meant to seriously injure or quickly kill the prey. They'll use techniques like disemboweling them, even snapping their necks with a quick strike and more. They also might bring it to you and leave it at your feet, so I guess you're welcome. Every year, cats kill millions of animals, and a large majority of them aren't eaten, they're just killed. Many endangered species are at risk due to our beloved pets such as cats and dogs. This has gotten so out of hand in some countries that they're even thinking of banning them as pets. Number seven, a pomace ground beetle. There's a saying in the animal world that it's eat or be eaten, but for a specific breed of ground beetle known as the apomis, they use that mentality against their potential foes. What they'll do is they'll use their body language to kind of lure in the animals that would usually be the predators of this beetle, mainly frogs and toads. Then when they're close to being eaten, they'll turn around and latch onto the animal and not let go. Because the animal can't shake them off, the beetle will start to eat them for its own nourishment, and it'll keep eating them until they're dead. Sometimes, though, it'll forego the luring aspect and will openly strike their targets with a crippling blow, including quite literally paralyzing them if they can get the right shot. Even scientists note that these ground beetles are rare in how they attack prey because of their use of reverse psychology. Number six, hippopotamus. By and large, the hippopotamus is one of the most deceptively aggressive creatures in the entire world. While it's true that they are known for being docile at times, 
and there are even stories of them saving people and other animals, this is usually not the case. They're very territorial and will lash out with surprising speed and take people out before they even know what's happened. Not unlike crocodiles, hippos are able to blend into the waters that they inhabit, thus making it easy for them to get an advantage on foes by charging at them with speed that shouldn't be possible considering the thousands of pounds a hippo has on it. They do mainly eat plants, but will also eat meat occasionally, and more than we thought. Wild hippos have fed on impalas, elephants, kudas, wildebeest, zebras, and sometimes other hippos that they either killed themselves or were killed by other predators. A rather common occurrence in Africa is that boats that go down the rivers that hippos inhabit are often tipped over or capsized by the hippos, who suddenly appear next to them and use their great power to break them and send people into the water. Other times, the hippos will chase you on land and not be afraid to trample and squash you with their powerful feet. For these reasons and these hunting methods, many guides and natives of the areas where hippos live will tell you not to risk anything happening by going next to hippos. Number 5. Electric Eel Despite its name, the electric eel isn't actually an eel. Rather, it's a type of knife fish. What's more, it's so unique that it's the only species member of its genus. However, while one part of its name is deceiving, the other half is right on the money. Because the electric eel has not one, but three different organs in its body that can produce an electric charge. And when it does, it can either stun or kill its prey. In fact, it's stated it has enough of an electric charge to kill an adult human instantly in certain cases. Other cases have it stunned so much that they drown in the body of water the electric eel just so happens to be in at the time. Fortunately for those of us who like traveling, the electric eel only resides in the Amazon River and the Orinoco River in South America, but it's also stated to be one of the deadliest creatures that live in that area because of its electric power. Though to be clear, the electric eel doesn't hunt humans. Their attacks on them are usually accidental because of them being scared by a random human appearance. Plus, because its body is so long and fluid, you likely won't even notice that the electric eel is near you before it's potentially too late, which is why they're very effective hunters of prey they like to eat. Number 4. Black Heron Sometimes the most terrifying kind of predator is the one that evolved in such a way to use its own body to enhance its hunting techniques, which is what the black heron has done. This bird from Africa has a solid black body, and it prefers to hunt fish, but it knows that the waters can hinder its hunt via refraction and other elements. So the black heron will actually go into the water's surface and then use its wings to create a canopy that will block out the sunlight and the glare on the water so it can better track and hunt the fish that it wants. And if it thinks that the glare on the water is returning, it'll open and close its wings rapidly to get rid of it. It knows that it must have perfect conditions to hunt these fish, and it'll do what it takes to be in those perfect conditions. Number 3. Pit Vipers The timing of when you hunt your prey in the wild is crucial as your senses are affected by the time of day that it is. However, for the pit viper, they welcome the night because they have a method within their bodies that makes it so that prey honestly can't ever hide from them. Mainly, they have senses so refined that they can mimic infrared sensors, meaning that they can find and track animals in the wild even in the dead of night, just by getting a whiff of their heat signatures. According to scientists, the pit vipers have heat-sensing pits on their faces, and these detect warm-bodied prey with the sensitivity of detection in the thousands of a degree Celsius. That's incredibly detailed, and it helps the snake catch their prey, to the extent that you could say that these snakes are almost perfect predators, because the prey likely won't even see them coming at night. But the vipers will always see them, no matter where they go, because they can sense their heat signatures sometimes hundreds of feet away. Number 2. Trapdoor Spiders when it comes to spiders, many use very basic means of capturing prey by luring them into their webs. However, when it comes to trapdoor spiders, they get a little more cunning in their approach. They'll dig into the ground and then cover that hole with all the natural tools at their disposal. Leaves, soil, mud, anything they can use to cover it up. The cover is so convincing that most animals and even people don't notice because it's literally perfect camouflage. Now outside the trapdoor, the spiders do use their silk, but they use it as lines. 
Think of them kind of like trip wires, and then they very quickly grab the prey and bring them down with them to eat. Now obviously, there is a chance that the spider grabs something it can't eat. If that happens, it'll release it back just as quickly as it takes it. The trapdoor spider is patient, and it's always willing to wait for its next meal even when the meal doesn't even sense its presence. Number 1. Pack Mentality There are many animals in the world that use what's known as pack mentality to hunt prey, meaning that they hunt in groups to ensure success. But what surprises many is that this doesn't just apply to smaller creatures like birds or wolves, but also to larger and heavier creatures like the orca. Aptly known as the killer whale, orca can use their bodies to great effect in a hunt, and when working together, they make it very hard for their foes to get away. What's more, they'll use the natural environment to aid their hunts. Orcas have been known to use their weight and speed to create waves in the water they swim in, so they can actually just knock seals into the water, and seals are a common prey for them. Should a chase commence, the pack of whales will chase them until exhaustion, ensuring they get eaten. By the way, they will also drown and kill great white sharks. These guys have absolutely no fear. And as if that wasn't enough, orcas will sometimes play with their food on the edge of death by just flinging them around for amusement. Thanks for watching. What did you think about these predators and their hunting methods? And which one of these predators would you not want to mess with? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time.